Hello everyone and happy holidays. It is Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. Now today's tip, what we're gonna talk about today is really how to create a power menu in PowerPoint. I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's first of all, let's talk about what a power menu isn't. So if you're in a presentation, you probably would agree this is a typical menu that you'd see with an agenda, right? Here's what we're gonna do today. Now granted, this is using Helvetica New, one of my favorite fonts. It's nice, it's clean, we're adhering to that concept that we have no more than five bullet points. It's a solid piece of business, but what it is not is something that I would call a power menu, something that's going to help you plus up your presentation. So let me show you what a power menu looks like and I'll show you how to build it. Let's say we were starting a virtual presentation, maybe it was a sales pitch or an orientation. The cool thing is you can create a non-linear presentation in PowerPoint and here's how it works. So we have a little menu here. You can choose anything you want. So if I asked you as a group, if we were live out there, what do you really want to focus on in the next 25 minutes? And everyone agreed that is the very last topic, cameras and lighting. Well, you know what? I'm going to select that and that would take us right to the cameras and lighting section. So in here, if we had some content, what we do is we cruise through it. So that was, let's say, tip and strategy one, tip and strategy two, our last tip and strategy. And then here's what we're gonna do. When we advance, we go right back to that power menu. It's a highly visual menu. Okay, so let's say someone goes, all right, let's check out tip B. All right, we're gonna kick on that one. And you're gonna see here, if we have content, we're gonna have tip A, tip B, tip C. It's the last one, you guessed it. We'll go back to that summary slide, all right? So we can continue on as we go. If we said, oh, we've got to have some PowerPoint presentation, tips and strategies, workflow design. By the way, love that stuff. 2022, I'm going to bring in the pain for you when it comes to presentation strategy, things that you can do both in live and virtual to kick things up. So there you go. That's the power menu. It's a great way to really get beyond a typical agenda. In fact, I never call things an agenda. It's here's what's on tap for today. Here's some things we're going to focus on. Here's our game plan. Just saying here's an agenda. I mean, that's that's kind of uh, 20th century. We want to keep things specifically if this is a presentation, we want this to feel a bit more of a, of a flow of more of a production mentality. OK, so let's talk about how you make this happen. All right. So this is based if we step back into the content, what I'm gonna do is go into slide sorter mode. And so by the way, you can go view and go slide sorter, or you, you can go alt WI as another way, or you can come on down here and click slide sorter. So you can go between normal view and slide sorter. So what I want you to notice and pay attention to is I have set up distinct sections. So there is one section, which is the opening slides. That's the setup punch there. I've got a section called OBS tips, I've got a section called PowerPoint design inspiration, a section called presenter tips and a section called camera tips. And I even have a wrap it up section here on the end Q and A and thank you. I'm going to show you how that works. But the concept of these sections, and by the way, if you want to create a section, all you need to do is select in between a set of slides here right click and do add a section. All right, when you do that, by the way, forgive my dog, it's barking. So we must be here getting us one of our little Christmas presents. And you would name the section, new section, right? You name it whatever you want to, no problem on that end. And you'd have a section, okay? So I'm just going to delete and remove that section. I'm not gonna remove the slides though, that would be bad news. Okay, so the idea here is that we have our different sections. now. Here's how this comes into play here on this slide. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna delete these little, little sections and show you how to do this. Okay, so you can see where those are. I'm gonna hit delete and let's recreate this. So first of all, I had a couple nice things going. I had an image, I have a PowerPoint logo. I put a little shape of a little diamond on here where I hit insert shape and added a diamond and added it for some, some different things that we've got going on. So that's a story for another day. No big deal on that one, no big deal. But what we want to do is use insert and you're gonna go to zoom. This is a cool feature and do section zoom. And when you do section zoom, any slide that is the first slide on your section 
will show up here, okay? So by that I mean, as you can see here that we have going on, uh, all of the section names that I just covered are shown. So any of those thumbnails that you wanna show up, what will happen is when you touch it and click it, we'll go to that section, it'll cycle through that section slides and then return back to this mother page, this main menu, this power menu, okay? So let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and select the, the ones that I want to form my diamond here. Okay, I'm gonna select those. I'm gonna hit insert and you're gonna see they all show up as little thumbnails here. Okay, you move them around, you can select different ones and you can place them right where you want to, okay? You can resize them. I mean, if you want them to be big, you can do that, no problem. So it can really be part of your overall look and feel of, of your content. I'm just gonna move these around here real quick. By the way, I like to use, if you notice up here, my power menu, I like to set up different alignment guides on my quick access panel. And what we're gonna do is just go ahead and set this one up here where you can see I've got grids and guides going. So I'm gonna set that one up, keep it nice and consistent, have it snap into that grid. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about right. And that's about right. And then if I wanted all of them a little smaller, I could hit uh, the shift key, select them all at one time. And then while holding the shift key down, I can hit the down arrow key and make them all a little bit smaller, okay? So there you go, it's as simple as that. Now here's the key. When you begin at your first element here, so I'm gonna just go into slideshow mode here, and you're gonna see, this is that opening section, I don't have that as part of my power menu, this is just me cycling through some slide content. I'm using the morph transition to make this pop and sizzle, and that'll be something that we can work you through as we go through, but bottom line here is that, here's that old school menu, here's just the traditional one, and now let's get into that power menu. So we've got our power menu back here. The cool thing with the section zoom feature is that it really gives you the chance to choose your own adventure, to have a non-linear presentation. And when you're ready to wrap it up, you can do something like this and put a secret little clear thumbnail over here on the bottom right that takes you to another section or another piece of your slide content. So let me walk you through that as well. This is kind of what I'd call an exit strategy. So we're gonna go back up to our power menu. And uh, by the way, one thing that I use all the time is this selection pane. You can find the selection pane under home, arrange, and then selection pane. If you right click it and add it to your quick access toolbar, it'll show up right here and it'll toggle on and off. This essentially gives you Photoshop level layer content where you can show and hide content without deleting it, you can rearrange things. I mention that because what I have here is a hidden little rectangle. So let's find that little rectangle, it's right over here. You're gonna notice, and I'll just put a little color on it for now, All right? So I've got a rectangle, and with this rectangle, if I go right click and I edit that hyperlink, you're gonna notice that this hyperlink is going to a place in this document and it's currently going to my Q&A slide, okay? Now you, you can do that by just right clicking on an object and adding a link to it, okay? Or you can just select an object and hit Control K and, and that'll do it as well. So Control K gives you the ability to insert hyperlinks and you can make them go wherever you want to, to a web page, a creative document, an email address, all kinds of stuff. But remember my secret was I like to put that little hot spot, just tuck it away somewhere near the bottom and I will turn off the fill feature on that one. And I just know it's down there. That's just my own little Easter egg secret. So that way when we're back in show mode, and by the way, if you hit shift F5 at any time, it'll put you on the current slide if you're a PC user. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I can just cruise through, let's say we go to presentation delivery. Hey, who's that handsome devil right there? And we cruise through those tips and strategies, we're mowing through them. We get to the last one and you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna come back to that power menu, all right? So there's the situation, by the way. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate your time today. 
you can see what's happening right now is we are going to the Q&A slide. So I'm gonna invite anyone, if you have any questions about how you do this, post your comments below. Hopefully you will enjoy not only my freaking barking dog out there, but also this tip and strategy. This is a way that you can really level up a complex presentation, make it all go back to a mothership. It's surprisingly easy to do. So I wanna thank everyone on behalf of the Presentation Plus Up subscriber base out there, my tribe, I appreciate you. If there's anything that you want to talk about, just post it in the comments. We'll tackle it together. So in the meantime, season's greetings to you. Thank you so much and please make it a great day.